Did you know that 70% of new electric vehicles are actually going to be eligible for luxury car tax? Now, that luxury car tax is not insignificant. It's over 400 quid for the first five years of the car's existence. It's actually from years two to six. Get your head around that for a sec. Now, the price of new cars has gone through the roof in recent years, just like the price of everything else we buy. But did you know that over 600,000 cars registered in 2023 are going to have to pay this luxury car tax? That's an incredible number. And if you look at every car on the road at the moment that's paying uh, luxury vehicle tax or will be paying luxury vehicle tax, you're looking at £769 million. Pounds. That's three quarters of a billion. Now, the motoring industry is lobbying the government at the moment to reduce it or remove it for electric vehicles because obviously 70% of electric vehicles are luxury vehicle tax and the government is saying everyone has to have an electric vehicle or they want as many as possible to have an electric vehicle. So that seems quite counterintuitive. Not only are they not giving incentives for people to have electric vehicles, which some of you may agree with that, some of you may not, but they're also then hitting you with this luxury vehicle tax. And this is on cars that are not luxurious, they're standard electric vehicles. Um, electric vehicle prices are sort of getting closer to petrol and diesel car prices and hybrid prices, largely because they're pushing up the petrol, diesel and hybrid car prices, um, while some electric vehicles are coming down a little bit in cost because battery production and things like that uh, are now not quite as costly as they were in some instances. But it seems madness. It's like the government want their cake and they want to eat it and they'd like you to pay for it while they're at it. Now, with electric vehicles in particular, there's a really great market for used cars and that's because... Loads of them are taken as salary sacrifice cars or company cars or owned by businesses and then they come back into the used market and there are essentially more cars than there are buyers for them. Um, that's correcting itself a bit now. There are far more people buying used electric cars and that's simply because they're such a good price. And of course now they're not getting hit with this luxury car tax. But any kind of incentive to make that all happen has been taken away and not only have the incentives been taken away they're now punishing people for doing what they ask essentially i mean i did a video the other day about new car prices and some of the massive discounts you can get there is a Vauxhall astra in that video that costs forty-one thousand pounds it's a plug-in hybrid so you'd have to pay luxury vehicle tax on a Vauxhall astra and that's insanity you're looking at an extra two grand on that car over a period of five years on a Vauxhall Astra because it's luxurious. It's not. A Vauxhall Astra is a chisel. It's a tool to get a job done. Folks, I'm going to put a link to an article from Auto Express in the video description so you can go and have a further read about this. But to me, this whole thing's a massive wind up. For one thing, 40 grand these days is a is a bang average new car. It's not a luxury car. If they want to impose a proper luxury car tax, I would suggest these days they sort of start that at 60 grand because there are plenty of fairly normal cars between 40 and 60 grand believe me i've got polestar 2 on my drive at the moment that's going away shortly it's 65 grand it's a lovely car i wouldn't really classify it as a luxury car and at the moment that's 25 grand over the luxury car tax threshold so let us get our heads around that for a second we're effectively punishing people for putting money into the economy and we're doing that by taking more money away from them this is madness utter madness it needs to be addressed let me know your thoughts in the comments please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe and now go and watch this video about the cost of new cars